This is Entrepreneurs Get Visible, the podcast for people who want more impact, influence, and income. I'm Anna Parker Naples, and I'll be sharing with you proven methods from leading entrepreneurs that help you get visible as an authority in your field. Because anything's possible when you get visible. Too many talented, capable people struggle with describing what they do to others. I was recently in a room with 40 entrepreneurs, many of which were millionaires or on the way to becoming them, but they still were struggling when they had to introduce themselves. There was that fear about standing up in front of a room of people that they don't know and introducing themselves. And what I want to talk to you about today is the power of being able to introduce yourself without stumbling, knowing what you're going to say and why you're going to say it. Whenever you go to a networking event, whether you have to stand up and give one of those 60 second pitches or not, you want to make sure that you are super clear in how you communicate what you do. And you want to bring this down into as memorable a phrase or slogan as you possibly can. And I'll talk about that a little bit more towards the end of this episode, why you want it to be as easy to remember as possible. But if you walk into a room whether it's socially or for work, deliberately networking. If you aren't clear in what you do, how can other people possibly remember you and refer you on to others? So every single interaction that we have with other human beings, we never know who they're connected to. They have potentially got two to 300 people that they are coming into contact with day after day, week after week, that if they knew and understood what you do, who you help and how you do it, that they are able to then pass on your referrals and recommendations in a very easy and natural way. But if you're stumbling over what you do, then you can't communicate that and you are missing out on opportunities. So the first thing I'm going to do in this episode is talk you through the shape of a pitch. And a pitch in real terms, in real business terms, is about what you might be saying to an investor if you were going to attempt to get some funding. But I think there are some important elements here that you can then bring into what you might say at a networking event if you had to give a formal introduction and then what you might say to someone informally at a networking event which you can then filter down into what you say socially about yourself and what you say in your Facebook live videos or any other communication you have online and this might be that it could transfer into what you put about yourself in your social media profiles so what you might write in your blurb on LinkedIn or on Instagram or on Facebook so that you communicate as clearly and concisely as possible what you do and why and for me that has to be about not having any jargon making it as simplistic as possible so that a five-year-old could hear what you do and relay it on to somebody else you want it to be short and snappy So let's look at what that pitch might look like. Now, first of all, I think it's important to have three levels of pitch. One would be that three minutes, which would be approximately 450 words, let's say. Then I would have a pitch that's about a minute long. That, again, you could use at a networking event if you needed one. And that would be approximately 150 words. And then you want to have a short, snappy version, which is about 75 words, which you can roll off the tongue as easily and quickly as you need to without stumbling. So in the shape of the pitch, think about the hook. What's going to grab somebody's attention? So quite often when I want to talk about the power of mindset, I will mention that I went from the wheelchair to the red carpets in Hollywood because that's attention grabbing. Other hooks I've seen work really well was a female empowerment coach gave statistics on female teenage self-harming within schools, the activity that actually happened within the school area inside the school building. That was shocking. I've also seen an effective hook given by someone who was a police officer who gave a talk on modern day slavery. And the hook that they used was how many slaves had been responsible for us having our phones in our mobile pocket in that room very attention grabbing and shocking. So what can be your hook to get somebody's interest? Then you want to think about the problem. What is the problem that you seek to solve? What is the pain that you see people in? Or what is the gain that other people can't get to that you are able to solve? What is that problem? How big a problem and how many people suffer with it? Then you're going to talk about the solution that you offer. What is it your product or service does? And how do they do that? What is the formula you have? What is the method by which you deliver that result? 
Next, you want to talk about the revenue model, the different ways that you make money by solving this problem. So that might be your memberships, your coaching, your product, your group program, perhaps. This might be a specific product that people buy that gets used in a particular way. Think about the different ways that you are bringing money into your business and that becomes part of your revenue model. Next, you want to think about the traction that you already have. So what your business, what your company has already achieved, maybe articles that you've already written or press that you've been in, perhaps it's awards that you've won. Anything that shows that you already have some level of endorsement, even if you're right at the beginning of your journey, think about those qualifications that you may have taken or that life experience you've had in order to make you the go-to person to do what you're doing. Next is about knowing and understanding the competition and the risk awareness that you have for your business. And it is actually sometimes quite useful to to position yourself alongside your competition to say, oh, it's similar to this and we do it this way so that you can then show your uniqueness. Don't be afraid of talking about your competition because there will always be something that is unique to you that you can share about how you do it differently. The final thing in your pitch is about your ask. What are you in every single interaction that you have asking people to do? Is it that you want particular recommendations or referrals? Is it that you want to visit a particular website? Is it that you want people to invest money? If So each of those elements can then be brought into your one minute pitch, making sure that you just take a minute to cover at least some of those and definitely finish with the ask. That's really important, being clear on the results you want from when you're speaking to somebody. Now, the final thing that I want to talk about here is about that 75 word limit on what you're putting together that might go on your social media profiles. And I think that it can actually go one step beyond that and be much shorter and snappier. There's a brilliant book called The Microscript Rules. And the subtitle is, it's not what people hear, it's what they repeat. That is by a chap called Bill Schley. And this book is brilliant for you working out and being able to communicate in a crystal clear way what it is that you stand for and your business stands for in just such a succinct, short, snappy phrase. So this might become your tagline, for example. So mine, after reading this book, has become anything's possible when you get visible because that encapsulates everything that I talk about, that opportunity opens when you decide to follow the strategies I talk about, when you decide to unravel the mindset stuff that I talk about. The reason that those taglines work is because they are memorable. There is some level of alliteration or repetition or rhythm or rhyme that is within that tagline. So another one that is used that I can think of off the top of my head is by Rob Moore. He often says his phrase, his tagline is, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Now that's very memorable and it does make you think about what you're doing and the actions that you're taking. So I would highly recommend that you go and have a look at that book, The Microscript Rules by Bill Schley. The link will be on our show notes as well, so you don't have to worry about writing that down. But you want to make something that is short and snappy and to the point that you put everywhere. That might become your tagline on your podcast. It might be something that is at the bottom of your email signature, but that people straight away understand what it's about. And the real test for this is when people repeat it back to you. You know you're onto a winner with a tagline if someone else is then quoting it back to you in an email, in a phrase, in a conversation, that it rolls off their tongue and out of their mouth just as easily as it did yours without any prompting from you. So that is it for me today on your pitch and why it's important. So I'm just going to briefly run over that you want to be thinking about having a pitch that is three minutes, one minute, and then this overall tagline or 75 words that might go on your social media profiles that is about the problem, the solution, the way you help people, the traction you already have, and the ask, asking people for what you want so that you are then able to communicate clearly and effectively what you do and who you are and who you help so that those individuals you speak with are going to have much more faith in the confidence you say that with. They're going to believe much more that you are the go-to expert. You're not fumbling and stumbling over what you do. And so they will have much more trust in you to then be able to clearly communicate to other people that they come into contact with why you are the person that can help them with that specific problem. 
Thank you for listening to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. To get your free checklist on how to raise your profile and to find out about our community, go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash get visible.